Hi everyone, it's Rachel and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make four different cubed animals using polymer clay. These charms are fairly easy and simple, so perfect for beginners or people just starting out using clay. When I make my cube charms, I usually like them to have a gemstone kind of effect. So the colours I'm going to be using are from the Fimo gemstone range. And there's a pink, yellow and a light blue. And then to make the purple, I just mix the blue and the pink as well as some regular purple clay as well. The first animal I'm going to be showing you how to make is a cute cat. So for this one, I decided to use the purple gemstone clay that I had mixed together. To shape the clay into a cube, what I usually do is start off by shaping it with my fingers and then I try to perfect it to make the faces a bit more even and flat by rolling it on my work surface and pressing it down each time. So now it looks something like this. To make the ears, I took a ball of the purple clay and I flattened it down and then I pinched each side to create a point and this is going to make a diamond shape. I then did the exact same but with a smaller piece of clay and then I just added that on top of the purple diamond. Cut this in half with your blade and then you'll end up with two even sized ears which you can go ahead and attach onto the cube. You can see here that I'm also blending down the edges using my needle tool. Next up for the face, I firstly created two indents where I wanted the eyes to go and then I rolled two balls of brown clay and popped them into the indents. For the mouth, I created two small U shapes of brown clay and then I placed them together between the eyes. I also added a little nose before also adding the whiskers, but I actually ended up taking off the nose because I didn't really like the look of it, so that's why I didn't show the clip of me popping it on. Then for the final face feature, I also added some little cheeks using two small balls of pink clay. Finally, I took another ball of purple clay and rolled it into a long teardrop shape for the tail, which I then attached to the side of the charm. Finally, go ahead and add an eye pin in the top if you'd like to make it into a charm, and then you can bake it in your oven according to your package's instructions. Next up, I'm showing you how to make the little cubed bunny. So for this one, I decided to use the pink gemstone clay. So I did the same method to shape it into the cube, firstly starting off with my fingers and then perfecting the shape a little bit more on my work surface. For the ears, I started off with two balls of the pink clay and I rolled them into teardrops and then I pressed them down so that they were flat. I then did the same with some pearl clay and I attached this on top of the pink clay. Using my blade, I then trimmed off the pointed ends so that I had a flat edge and then I blended these on top of the cube. To make the face, I created two indents where I wanted the eyes to go and then I added in two balls of brown clay. For the mouth, I placed on two small U shapes of brown clay and then the cheeks are just two balls of pink clay. I then made the bunnies a fluffy tail by pressing down my ball tool onto some pink clay to give it a fluffy looking texture and then I just positioned this onto the back of the charm. Add an eye pin if you would like to make it into a charm and then bake it in your oven according to your package's instructions. Next for the kawaii cubed bear I'm using the blue gemstone clay and I'm shaping it into a cube. To 
To create the ears, I began with two balls of blue clay and then I flattened these down and then pinched one side to create a point. I then did the exact same with some pearl clay and placed it on top before cutting off the pointed ends and then I positioned these onto the top of the cube. Once again, I'm blending down the clay using my needle tool to make sure the ears stay nice and secure. For the snout, I added an oval piece of pearl clay in the bottom centre of the face. I then created two indents on either side of that where I wanted the eyes to go and I placed in two balls of brown clay. I added two small U shapes of brown clay to the snout and then I also added a little piece of brown clay for the nose. Then I also attached on two cheeks using some light pink clay. Lastly, I added a small piece of blue clay on the back of the cube for the bear's tail before then adding my eye pin to make it into a charm and baking it in the oven. So the last cube I'm going to show you how to make is this cubed puppy or dog. For this one I used the yellow gemstone clay and I shaped it into my cube. I decided for the ears on this one I wanted them to be floppy so I rolled two balls of the yellow clay into teardrops and then flattened them down and curved them slightly on my finger. I then placed these on top of the cube and had them flop over the front. To make the face, I firstly created two indents where I wanted the eyes to go and then I added in two balls of brown clay. For the mouth, I positioned on two U-shapes of brown clay as well as a little piece of clay for the nose. I then used some pastel pink clay to create a tongue to stick out of the mouth and I cut it off on an angle so that it had a point and this would fit nicely between the two pieces of clay for the mouth. I added two balls of pink clay on either side for the cheeks and then I created the tail by rolling a little teardrop of the yellow clay and I placed on a piece of pearl clay as well. I pushed in my eye pin to make it into a charm and then you can go ahead and bake it in the oven. After baking, I used some super glue to secure the eye pins into the clay and I also used my UV resin as a glaze to make my charms nice and shiny and also add some extra protection as well. So here's what the cubed animals look like once they're completely finished. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for lots more crafty videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!